Alright guys, we'll be here and today I want to talk to you about something called Planet Earth. And what I'd like to talk about is this word right here, planet. So there's much debate about globe versus flat and my thought came up well I don't think very many people know the origins of the word planet where it came from to me as a flat earth believer I look and I see plane p-l-a-n-e but that might just be an assumption right so let's go to space.com. We're here at space.com. Storied history of the word word planet. So first thing they say is many different meanings over the millennia and the definition is still evolving. But the word typically traced back to the ancient Greeks who believed the Earth was stationary at the center of the universe while objects in the sky revolved around it. The Greek term asters, planete, means wandering stars. Wandering stars. So yes, planet or planete is not talking about our planet. It means wandering and not that our planet is wandering. It's the stars that are wandering and describes the tiny lights moving around the sky. More dramatically, it means stars when compared over weeks and months. So the wandering stars that they were seeing were the other planets. But that never means that what we are on is wandering also. That's an assumption. So guys, when you're looking, just, uh, you know, really interesting, you can go ahead and look uh, planet, the origin. Planet means to wander, to wandering. Um, that's kind of interesting when we think about something being on a flat plane. Um, of course, that wandering does uh, airplanes and such like that. It corresponds to that. What does this mean in relation to just the word plane? Not really sure. So, guys, I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, it was really about wandering stars. It's not about wandering planets. It's about wandering stars. So if you want to take the Greeks for everything that they were saying, for fact, well, then the Greeks, by fact, called the other planets stars. So this shows us that we cannot trust all of the science given to us by these old civilizations. Nor can we trust what we have changed words into now. So I personally propose that the word planet was not describing our planet. It was describing everything else in the, in the sky. Everything else wandering around us. So any assumptions on our movement or anything like that from that word is bogus in my opinion. Um, of course we can't use it to say the earth is flat or anything like that. That's another assumption that would be bogus. But it's just a little bit of background, folks. Um, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, curious what you think. Uh, I just... I just had never considered the word plane inside of planet. As always, judge for yourself. Thanks.